Hey guys, welcome back to Daily Duel. So today is Saturday. It means uh, we usually be tagging, but I decided to have enough put tagging on hold for this week because I need to not only catch up on commentating, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I need to catch up on commentating. So I am doing like 20 million things at once here. Like a lot. Shadal, Sh Light Sworn Shadals. That's disgusting. That's going to be fun to duel against. That's going to be real fun to duel against. I hate Shadals. No, no. So right now I'm trying to record Daily Duels while uploading this video from my laptop onto, uh, onto YouTube. Well, it's like 11 o'clock at night, and I should you not, I, like, oh my god. Well, I'm probably gonna lose, because Light Sworn Shadals are probably gonna just wail the shit out of me. You know, I would, I'm not gonna be surprised if I end up just losing this duel, because Light, <laughs> Light Sworn Shadals, like, Shadals, now since Infernities have pretty much gone away to an extent, Shadals are now my new deck that I hate. <laughs> so... Yeah, I don't like how that deck just straight up just like, hey, you don't get to play Yu-Gi-Oh! And just punish the living fuck out of you. So, I do got the new Smash, uh, but you know what, guys? You know what? I gotta pay, I gotta, I gotta talk about my day, and I gotta get my fool on, so... Yeah, you heard that, me closing my DS. Yeah, the shit's closed. Of course you get charged. Damn, you got your deck all the way down to 24 already? Oh god. Oh god. He's running that double gores, I see. Alright, so. Uh, right now, as I'm recording this video, I don't know what I'm going to title this episode. I'll probably figure it out. But uh, you guys, of course, came here because uh, of my Thursday. And as you guys have been paying attention to Daily Duels lately, uh, I have kind of like a, a study date-ish thing. Light Sworn Ruler... Shadal deck of evil. All right. So that's what it sure looks like. Light sworn ruler Shadal. Just oh my god. Like hello. Uh huh. So those two gonna attack, or or you're gonna make a Michael, or what's up? What's going on here? I didn't open up that well. So, uh, yes. Uh, uh, as you guys know, uh, we had a take-home calculus test. And, uh, calculus girl texted me and asked me if I could show up to class. Well, not show up to class, but show up to the college early. On, uh, on, uh, Thursday. And I was like, oh yeah, well, of course, yeah, sure, I can show up early. Uh, usually I would have class, usually I have women's studies, but we, we fortunately did not have women's studies. So, uh, that was good, so I was able to show up. She wanted me to show up at 9.30. Class was until 11, at 9.30. Like, okay, okay. So, my Thursday began just like any other Thursday, just like my Tuesdays and Thursdays, I go and donate plasma. So, <laughs> we went to go donate, and they were just moving so slow. There was actually one point where they wouldn't allow us to sign in at the booth because there was no one to check you in at the kiosk, and we had to wait a while for them to get that set up, and they were taking forever. Pretty much, it was probably one of the slowest days going that uh, I could possibly ask for. Just a really, really slow day, which definitely sucked. This deck is disgusting. Disgusting, I tell you. Disgusting. Why did I summon that? I meant to hit Dark Hole. I fucked that up real bad. Real bad. I just did something I totally didn't want to do. You know what? I, I want to Dark Hole him. I'm a Dark Hole. I don't know. That was an accident. That was an accident. I misclicked. That was totally an accident. I didn't, I didn't mean to. That was my normal summon. Yep, that was my normal summon. Oh my god. Come on. Go. I'm gonna lose anyway, but like seriously, like I misclicked the shit out of that. I'm just so involved. I'm involved with like 20 different things at once. So busy. It's 11 o'clock at almost 11:30 at night. I literally haven't been uploading or working on any YouTube videos because I've just been, you know, settling in Smash, of course. Uh, sure. I'll go ahead and take that. Oh, 
There is not much I can do. <laughs> my best, literally, my best choice would be to just stall the hell out until, uh, stall the hell out until, uh, what am I trying to say? Until he backs out, but I doubt that would happen. I, doubt, I seriously doubt that would happen. So I'll just go ahead and go into my boss monster, and I guess I'll go. At this point, he either has honest in his hand, or he doesn't. I'll go ahead and go into my hand, even though he can block me with breakthrough skill if he wants to. He probably has honest in his hand. No, he doesn't. Okay. He has eight cards left in deck, like I said. Shadal Fusion? You should- come on, please tell me you milled out all of your fucking Shadals in your deck already. Probably not. Probably not. He's probably gonna Shadal Fuse right into frickin', uh, into Construct and just fuck up my fire hand. Uh, my, my hand, my fire hand, my hand, my giant hand. All the hands. <sighs> anyway, it was probably one of the slowest days, and literally... Uh, because they were taking forever to DC my friend, uh, I was ended up being late for my, uh, so-called date, even though it really wasn't a date. Yep, I have to negate it. Even though I would love for, I'm, I'd really, I would love for you to go ahead and activate that soul charge so I can negate something else, and you could go ahead and just deck thin Heller, just draw two mil two and be at four, I have to negate, it's mandatory, so fuck. Now he could probably just summon a Lumina, Lumina Pitch, summon back, and then fucking make a Michael and whoop my ass, so. I'm surprised he didn't break to skill me. Yep, that shit all fusion, so he actually has some shit left. Well, he's gonna go ahead and go for Construct. I'll probably cast Stell and put it back. He's probably going to get rid of my hand, so that means I'll go ahead and get this search on from... And the sending to the grave. I might be able to have this duel. Like I said, it really depends on what he has left. This big push might be it. But I might have something up my sleeve if I survive this turn. I doubt it. I really do. I doubt it. Because his fucking Shadal Light Sworn ruler deck of just evil is just... Uh, so damn too aggressive. He's just hoping it up, and I, I, I can't eat him. I can't eat him. <sighs> yep. Yep. Who else did you send in the period? Oh, Falcon. That's fine. Uh, it's not fine, but I guess it's fine. Yep, yep, yep. He, he, he is just hate Shadals. Really do. Game would be a lot different if it didn't exist. Anyway, so I was super worried about being late for my little date because I was just like, shit, shit, I don't want to be late, don't want to be late, don't want to be late. So he sent another one, right? Who did you send? You sent him. You sent a Shadal Fusion? It says card? Yeah, it does say Shadal card. So I guess you sent a Shadal Fusion. Your effect's not mandatory, is it? You can, so you, I guess you thought you had something left in there and you clearly didn't, so you sent the Shadal Fusion. Okay. Wow. Falco and either another Falcon or Falco or Raiko or something. Yep, I got him actually, but you know what? At least I get my, uh... Yep, plain code effect. Send you, and I already used you, so I guess I'll go ahead. I already have you in there, so I'll go ahead and send you. You will go off, and I guess I'll go ahead and get you, actually. I have some interesting plays with you. That, Fal that Falco, though. I don't want that Falco to be there, but it is there, so that's going to be very difficult to deal with. <laughs> Uh, this card, special summon, normal summon, let's go ahead and make a castell so we can put you back. 
you don't need to be on the field. He only has four cards left in his deck. I wish I had something to make him, like, mill. <laughs> That'd be nice. Get you back. Uh, fucking Falco, though. Ah. Uh, so, Falco, if I attack you, you flip, and then you freaking set something. You, you might be a Raikou or another Falco. Uh, you. Uh, looking for him? Like, wait, which one to use is the one I want. Okay. Like I said, I could activate you and then put all input two of you back, but it's not worth it right now. Go ahead and get your effect. I can't stop you. I'd much rather you go ahead, flip up, get your effect, go ahead and set a beast. Actually, you can set a lot of cards to hinder me, actually. You can set dragon, you can set lizard. Have you played lizard? I don't think you played lizard this entire duel, actually. You got beasts. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Actually, that's kind of reassuring for me. Go ahead and touch your lizard. I will kill it, and you can either kill a Castel, who I don't give a shit about, or you can kill my, uh, uh, plain coat, who will get his effect again, because he resolves in the graveyard, so, really, I don't care about neither one of that. Wow, you quit? You're the one using fucking Shadals, I'm just using Heraldic Beast. Like, hello, you're up on resources, you were just doing great, and you're like, no, I wanted Beast to quit. Ah, <laughs> uh, alright, let's go ahead and get another duel in. Be right back. Alright, we're back. So, now this is a new duel, hopefully I can start talking about my Thursday again. I did not say that. He did. His hand is shitty. Hold on. Hand's real shitty, actually. I'm gonna have to take this duel super slow. Yep. Still shitty. <laughs> like, thanks for the shittiness, I guess. I'll take the duel slow. Anyway. Uh, so, I had to, not only did I have to leave the donation place, drop my friends off at their house, and, uh, head home, because I had to still put in my contacts and then still grab my backpack, uh, so, uh, I ended up being, I, I knew I was going to be late, so, I was like, oh, you know what, let me go ahead and call her and tell her that I'm going to be late, you know, so, she answered the phone, she was like, oh yeah, I'm on my way, and I'm like, okay, oh, I'm going to be late, I am definitely going to be late. Uh, maybe like five to ten minutes. She's like, oh, okay, that's fine. So, uh, I put my contact lens, got off, put my tie on, because he does not wear ties and stuff. Look off shining. I can't wait to dark hole him. I can't, I swear to God, I can't wait. I can't wait. I, you know, I want to take the duel slow, but this guy clearly wants to take, oh my God, please, deck, work with me. Hello? I don't even run that many spells. Like, why? I'm going to dark hole you. I'll do it now. I don't want to. Oh my god! Oh, why is everybody using Shadals today? I'm tired of dueling against Shadals. Like, why haven't you flipped none of their flipped them any of them up? Oh my god! Why is everybody using Shadals? Why? Everybody and their mother. What is up with today? Like today, everybody's like Shadal Day. Like, hate Shadals. You know what? I should have summoned the Goblin Berg and attacked. I should have summoned the Goblin Berg and attacked. That was my bad. Yep, I should have. That was my bad. And he at least wouldn't have got his full effect since you can only get one of their effects only once per turn, so he wouldn't be getting this plus off of this fucking summon from the graveyard. Ah, uh, come on. Can I get one monster? One. If I can get one monster, we can get it started. That's all I need is one monster right now. That works, I guess. You're generic, aren't you, boss monster? 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I go summon you, summon you, make an exiton. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I'd be up on resource. I mean, I'd be down on resources. I can exiton him, but once again, exitoning him, what the fuck is that gonna solve? No. Wait, fuck it. I'm gonna fuck with this Rotor Cray because I'm about to exiton anyway, so. I don't wanna get solemn warnings. Just seriously, what's up with people using Shadals today? No. Because I'm gonna summon you. Actually, I might actually set some of my cards. Because if I wipe right now, he, depending on what, I, he'd be at three. So if I wipe right now, I'd be still, I'd be up. So maybe it might be wise to go ahead and set some of these cards and then kill them just so I can be down on resources. I'm going to set two of you. I'm going to set one, I'm set you and you. And wipe. No, I don't want to rank up my extra time. See, it was solemn warning. See, smart. That's how I felt like I wrote a decree. Yep, yep. And what does Hound do? Set me? Oh, it turns me to defense. Ooh. Actually, that's not too bad. Because now I can't, uh... Still down on resources. Now I can't attack. I can always rank up. Is it worth it though? That's the question. Is it really worth it though? Not really. Like I said, I've been having a terrible duel. It's fucking Shadol, I swear. I might actually have to just... I, I want to have an easy duel so I can just talk, but I have to keep on dueling against Shadol's and it means therefore I have to focus on the duel and it's just... Uh. Okay. Look at how up on resources he is. Like, oh my god. Hello? Look at that. You don't have Shadal Fusion? I don't know what's up with everybody using Shadals today. I hate that deck. I hate it with passion. Anyway, hopped in my car and, uh. Well. I didn't know that. Oh, well, at least you can only activate one of them. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you want to try and battle position. That's fine. I don't mind that. I said I could rank up into one of these three, but why? You, you wouldn't be getting an effect. You wouldn't be getting an effect. I'm not drawing any fucking, uh... Any fucking, uh... Of my heraldic beasts. Just drawing spells and traps, even though the spell trap count in this deck's not even that fucking high, I'm still drawing a whole bunch. Like, hello? Death Pro, like, we already did this at Death Pro this finest yesterday, now you wanna give me the same bullshit today. But, you're not giving me what the majority of the deck is. It's fine. Not since I already got rid of his solemn warning. I'm not too concerned about that. Just go ahead and attack it. He's gonna flip it anyway, so it doesn't fucking matter. So I might as well try to go for the kill. It's dragon, it's dragon, it's fucking lizard, it's lizard. I don't care. It's fucking Marshall on. Did you see that coming? Not even remotely. Fucking Marshall on. All right. Ugh, come on. Where are my monsters? This isn't fucking Heraldic Beast, this is fucking just Spell Trap deck. I said the majority of this deck, I'd say, I'd say over 50% of this deck is monsters, and yet, no monsters. Like, hello? Ah, there goes your bottomless. 
Thank you for another fucking MST. Where are my monsters? Oh my god, monsters, please. Do I run them? The majority of the deck, over 50% of this deck is monsters. Where are they? Uh-huh. Fuck it. Fuck it, go ahead and... Go ahead. I'm gonna lose to a fucking shitty Astrodol player, too. I cannot do anything. I am not drawing into any monsters. At all. I'm not even sure if I run any monsters anymore. No, that's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and MST this one now. Doesn't fucking matter. But like, why you MST all my back row? Because I can't get any fucking monsters. Oh, you got the MST. I MST your MST. Okay. Oh wow! I actually got the fucking monster. Amazing. I can, and actually, the one that actually can do something too. I'm gonna go ahead and attack that Falcon, that Falco, so he can flip it up, get his effect, set something else, and then I can kill that as well. <sighs> What's he do when he slipped? He gets the fucking Shadal spell or trap, doesn't he? Fuck. Yep. All right, it begins. I don't want him to, but I I have to kill it. It's better to kill it than to allow him to keep it, because he's just gonna flip it next turn anyway. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. Go ahead and get your fucking Shadal Fusion in, and it begins. Everybody's using fucking Shadal Fusion today. Yep. <sighs> and I'll only be able to special summon once turn, because he's clearly gonna go into fucking. Midrash, and I'm gonna get really fucked. Oh my god. Why do I have to keep doing this deck? Why? Why is everybody using Shadals today? I hate Shadals so much. Go ahead. Shadal Fusion! I'm like, yeah, I know. Oh, shock. I'm done. I'm, I'm gonna tune out this duel. I'm done. So let me just go ahead and talk. I'm I'm gonna step away from the duel and start focusing on talking. So uh, I, I called her. Said I was gonna be like five to ten minutes late. You know, we were meeting at the college at nine thirty. Class didn't begin at eleven. So you know, all that time to spend with her. Awesome. Anyway, hop in the car. I get all the green lights. Just boom, all the green lights. So I said I was gonna be five to ten minutes late. I was like maybe like one two minutes late. Like literally, I walk into. Uh, the B building, and she's literally just walking down the hall, and she sees me. <laughs> so I'm just like, oh, hey. So, uh, we go ahead and start on the, uh, calculus test. Yeah, you fucking midrash. Yep, his effect. His effect. The tired of doing this. So tired of doing against Shadows. Everybody and their mothers. Using this deck. Oh, I lose. It's all you see. It's all the meta is. It's everybody's using. You go to a fucking regionals or a YCS, should all, 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 should all. Should all. Shit. I got nothing. I can't. I can't play anything. I got nothing. 
Midrash says I, I can't play any Yu-Gi-Oh anymore, so. Not even. Not even. Shadals don't. Shatellas can't do shit. Shatellas are fucking trash compared to Shadals. Fucking. Can't do anything. Can't do shit. You got this. I'll give you the satisfaction of beating me. Uh, you got this. I can't do anything. I got, I got, I got shit in my hand, but I can't play. Can't play Yu-Gi-Oh right now, so. I'll summon Exodus just to summon Exodus, I guess. Just to put every, all your shit back. I don't fuck not. Like I said, you got this. GG. G fucking G. So, uh, we get started working on the calculus stuff. So, uh, like I said, we're both in calculus too. I wouldn't say she's... She's not dumb. She's definitely not dumb. She's, she's definitely smart, you know? She just needed some help with it, so that's why she asked me to help. And you're allowed to get help as long as she, you understand material. So she's like, oh, I don't get this. How do I get this problem? And I was like, oh, you're doing it right. So uh, helped her out with her test. Um, it took us an hour. Yeah, it took an hour. I know, because there's so much work. It wasn't hard. It was just a lot of work. But uh, so it's, after an hour, we still had not half an hour before class started, of course. So uh, she's like, well, I'm hungry. So let's go get something to eat. So. Uh, I was like, okay, well, in the D building, they have, like, a little, like, little coffee lounge or whatever. So, uh, we walked over there. Uh, and, uh, she got it. She wanted to buy me something, you know? And, you know, on you know us guys, like, no, what, what? The girl buy us something? No, no. <laughs> so she's like, no, let me buy you something. I owe you, I owe you, I owe you. Like, no, it's fine. You don't have to buy me anything. <laughs> yeah, and she's like, well, I feel really bad that, that I owe you. I'm like, oh, no, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna save it. I'm gonna save them. I'll owe you. You're gonna have. I'm gonna take this. I owe you. I'm gonna save it. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna spring it on you and be like, you know how? Yeah. I'm gonna whip out that favor. You know, go on a date with me. But right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and save it. I uh, I know one of the one of the good ways to get into a, into a girl's heart and to and get into a girl's mind is guilt her because girls run on emotion. They don't run on logic. They run on emotion. So you know, guilt is an is an emotion. So make them feel. Make them feel sorry for you, and it works. I know, I know. So so far, doing that really well. So uh, I think she she decides to get herself like a muffin or stuff, and, and I'm I'm constantly just flitting with her, you know. Uh, you know, I, I may not be the most confident guy on here, but you know, I I try to flirt. So you know, <laughs> you know, she she was like. She was like, I need to get you something. I feel bad. I need to get you something. She's like, what's your, what's your favorite candy? I'm like, whoa, you know, asking me for my candy, my favorite candy, you know, I think going a little bit fast here. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, she got herself like a muffin and some hot chocolate. Like, okay. So, uh, you know, we have like a half an hour before class starts. So, uh, we decided to go ahead and sit outside back where we were at. And, uh, we were like sitting on this kind of like s concrete wall. And we were just talking, you know, just talking about uh, getting to know each other more personal, you know. Uh, you know she's 20, like me. She also lives with her mom. She has a car. Uh, she has a job, which is cool. You know, she's a full-time student and she has a job, so she might be kind of busy. So, you know, I had to take that, you know. If I become her boyfriend, you know, I got to understand that. Also, she's really close with her family, so that as well. Uh, but, you know, we were just sitting there talking, getting to know each other, and... Uh, I don't know how, I can't remember how the topic came up, but Smash came up. And she was like, oh, you like Smash too? Like, yeah. And I was just like, yeah, it was Thursday. And I was like, yeah, you know, midnight release, a new Smash comes out for the 3DS. She's like, what? Smash comes out on the 3DS? I'm like, how do you not know that Smash comes out on the 3DS if you're a Smash fan? I'm like, hello? So I was like, yeah. She's like, well, I want to play it. And I'm like, oh, well, you want to try it out right now? She's like, really? I'm like, yeah, I have the demo in my pocket. She's like, oh, wow, okay, let me play. So, uh... I go ahead and hand her the DS, and uh, she didn't really know how to the controls and how to get things set up. So uh, I was like, "Oh, well, do you mind if I, you know, I help you and sit close to me?" She's like, "Oh yeah, that's fine." So I was pretty much sitting like right next to her. I I could pretty much just touch her so close. I know I'm terrible. Anyway, <laughs> so uh, you know, I teach her how to set up the the fight and stuff. And I'm sitting there, sitting there watching her play, and and she's like, oh, I'm just not used to it. I'm used to it. And she, and she was kind of embarrassed because you know I'm sitting here watching, it and she says she's a huge fan, and she was just falling. She was using Pikachu, and she was just falling and dying over and over again. And she was like, she was like, 
well, how many stocks do I have? You know, it's not over yet. And it's just like, you know, for the demo, it's just two minutes, you know. And she's like, oh, that's lame. And she's like, she's like yeah, uh, when you get the full game, let me play. And I'm like, yeah, of course. So, of course, now I got the full game. So, definitely, definitely, I'm going to have to spend more time with her and get her to uh, go ahead and play it. So, uh, yeah, I got to get close to her. Uh, we went to calculus class and um, high calculus class is boring. Why? Uh, and after calculus class, she actually happened to park closer. So she parked in the B building because she got there early. Of course, her parking spaces. So I walked her to her car and I was like, well, you know, you don't always have to text me only for math things related things. You know, we can go ahead and talk, talk, uh, talk text to get to know each other. She's like, oh, yeah, but I don't really text that often. You know, I don't, and I was like, oh, do you use any social network? She's like, yeah, I use Facebook. So add me on Facebook. So, I added her on Facebook, and and this is the, this is where things get interesting. It's because I I don't remember how to log in or if I deleted my actual Daniel Miller from an account. So I added her to my. I even told her I was like, I'm gonna add you on my uh, YouTube channel account. She's like, Oh yeah, that's fine. She's like, you have a picture, so I'll recognize you. Just go ahead and message me. So I added her on my Google Master account. So now she knows the name of my YouTube channel. So. Now, if she's really interested, she could actually go ahead, come over, and actually watch my videos. She'd probably figure out that I'm talking about her. <laughs> so, that would be bad. <laughs> no, I'm not saying anything negative about her. She's awesome. So far, so far, I really like her. So far, you know, you know, you know. There's, there's, there's liking someone and there's lusting someone. And I'd say, I'd say I'm liking her. You know, we have a lot in common, and she's so down to earth. She's really fun to get along with. So. Uh, you know, hopefully I get closer to her. Um, you know, she actually messages me back on Facebook. Not that often, because she's super busy. Like, she, you know, so far as I know, she was like, like, she's like, oh, well, I'm going to go on a lunch day with my dad. And then we, we had a family get together and they, they had like a family get together till late at night. And then on, uh, on Friday, she, uh, celebrated her cousin's birthday. And then she went to the movies with her cousins as well. And she's just been all around. So, you know, I know that she, you know. I'll message her on Facebook, and I should probably message me like maybe once or twice a day, which is totally fine, because you know, at least she's still thinking about me. At least she knows. Oh, I still got a message Daniel today, so you know that's fine. So at least I, I'm still on her mind. But so far, she's so awesome. Also, also, you know how you when you add someone to Facebook and you get access to their information, I uh, went ahead and hit that about section one there, and it said single. Like yes, single. <laughs> I do not know how this girl is single though because she's super cute, but you know, she's smart. She's cute. She has a car She has a job like hello. How come no one is dating this girl? But I don't know. Maybe she's waiting for the right guy. I mean, I don't know. I I'm right here. I'm right here. So I'm gonna keep trying uh, So that's the good news. The bad news is that <laughs> uh, You know me trying to get closer to her and you know, not only you know mentally but also maybe physically as well you know me getting closer to her while she's playing smash and stuff like that uh she told me that she had a cold and she was kind of coughing in class and had a cold and my freaking luck <coughs> that wasn't that wasn't i, I know that cough kind of popped in this story and it's like i know where this is going yes i caught her cold like uh <laughs> catch the cold don't <laughs> <laughs> and of course, you know, once again, girls work on emotion, guilt trip the shit out of her image on Facebook. I'm like, funny thing, I caught your cold. She's like, oh my god, I'm so sorry that I gave you my cold. <laughs> it's like, no, it's fine, it's fine. You know, and me being the freaking uh, fort that I am, and I'm not talking all that gushy gushy stuff that I'm just like, that make me even be like, Hur. I'm just like, you know. And I was like, if I can spend time with you, then getting the cold is totally worth it. <laughs> you know, and just being all smooth talker, like I said. I, I feel like I'm terrible with women, but you know when I when I feel comfortable around a girl, I can smooth talk. I can I can be a flirt. You know, it's just it, it, it's that initial it's just that initial hello. Once I get past that initial hello, I can do it. So I'm I'm fairly confident. You know, especially since she's single, I, I know that I can just you know try to just peacock it up, right? So I'm definitely gonna be trying my best to uh, go ahead and do it. So wish me luck if you guys have any tips, any pointers. You know, I'm definitely. Uh, you know, whenever she's not busy, you know, she totally wants to go ahead and switch math. So, uh, either whether it be, you know, we get together one day or uh, after after class, calculus class, she's got to go ahead and play this math, you know. <laughs> and uh, hopefully one of these days I'll be able to go ahead and ask her out on a date, you know. 
She likes scary movies. I don't watch movies, nor do I really like scary movies. <laughs> so I might pussy out and be a bitch. That's the last thing I need to do. She's like, oh. she's like she likes scary movies and haunted houses and stuff. So I'm, you know, I'm gonna try to be all acting manly, and I'm probably gonna scream like a little bitch. And <laughs> and I scream like a little bitch. So I'm not sure if I'll do that. You know? Oh my God, October the Fright Dome. Oh my God, the Fright Dome. Hello. I've never been to the Fright Dome though. Oh my god. Oh my god. I might go. I might ask her on a date to the Fright Dome. That might work. That might work. That's a genius idea. Thank you all. Everything is just aligning so well. This might actually work. Hello? Alright, so there you go. So I apologize to Slate and I apologize to Mega Chaos. I'll definitely get you guys uh, this coming week. Actually, you know what? I might invite both of you guys to join me for d and Commentary. As of this video, I have not joined d and Commentary, so I might invite you guys both to join me for d and Commentary to make up for the fact that I had to do I had to catch up. And clearly, this whole- this is a big one. This is the big one, so yeah. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels. I am enjoying- I am enjoying Smash. Smash is awesome. Uh, it's a little bit different than playing on a GameCube, but it's still fun. I'm trying to, right now I'm trying to unlock all the characters. I unlocked everybody except for Rob. So uh, you have to do like 20 fight. I mean, not 20, that'd be 70 fights. And so I'm just doing like one stocks against the level 9 computer. Just getting practice in with characters that I want to uh, think I'm considering maining. Of course, Sheik, that's that, that's my lady. Um, think about Zero Suit. Uh, I like Little Max, his recovery is kind of bad, but he, I like him. And, uh, who else? There's just so many characters that are just so fun. This game is really fun. Like, if you don't have Smash in your 3DS, you better pick it up. Alright. Um, also, uh, my friend code. That's what it's called. Friend code. I was like, what the hell is that thing called? The friend code. My friend code is in the description, so if you have Smash, go ahead and, uh, add me a friend code. And please go ahead and comment and be like, alright, and let's go ahead and play some Smash together. Alright, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode. Daily Duel is a long one, but I hope that you still enjoyed. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Using Quackamiru, it would be Stramistanzi, but we're doing something different, so be prepared for it. Thanks for watching.